everyone, and welcome to the show. Have you ever tried to take a photograph of a wild animal? Mm, it's not easy, trust me. They don't exactly say cheese when you want them to. <laughs> Even harder, try taking a photograph of a wild animal while you're underwater with 50 pounds of scuba gear on your back <laughs> and a hungry tiger shark just a few feet away. Sound like fun? <laughs> Welcome to the crazy world of the underwater photographer. Meet John and Dan Cessary or as we like to call them, the Dive Brothers. They live in Hawaii, and ever since they were kids, they've had a unique fascination with the ocean. We made a pact when we were really, really young to actually become scuba divers when we grew up and to, and to follow our dreams, really, of being around the ocean for the rest of our lives. I've never had a job without John in my whole life since I was 12 years old. We sold lemonade and had car washes when we were growing up to make money to buy masks and snorkels. 20 years later, the brothers who graduated from the lemonade stand, today they work together as underwater photographers in some of the world's most beautiful waters, photographing some of the world's most amazing animals. What we do every weekend is John and I actually go down to uh, the banyan tree down in Lahaina town, Maui, where we, uh, we sell our pictures. How much are they? Uh, these ones are 150. Here in Lahaina Town, John and Dan meet people from all walks of life. They admire the photos on display, but have no idea how painstaking the artistic process can be. Getting up super early, fueling the boat, packing up all your dive gear, putting the cameras inside of housing, getting out, driving to a spot in the middle of nowhere in the ocean, hoping the ocean's calm enough, hoping that you have good visibility, hoping that the animal even shows up. It's worth it to get the shot. And that's just the start of it. Many times, in order to get the shots they need to make a living, John and Dan must take enormous risks. There's just the two of us on the boat. Then when we're down underwater, nobody's on the boat. It's constantly in the back of our mind, wondering if the boat's going to be there when we get back. What happens if an animal does get us and we're in the middle of nowhere in the ocean? We can't just pick up a phone and call for help when we're down there. This is a 16-foot female tiger shark. The brothers, with no protection, dive into a pool of blood to chase her. She circles them for 20 minutes. John and Dan get their shot. We actually show someone a picture of a tiger shark. They think we're insane. That's what makes diving so much fun, is it's always an adventure. It's always something you're looking for and something that you'll find. If you don't find one thing, you'll find another thing. Hammerhead sharks, humpback whales. It's just another day at work for the Dive Brothers. And in their minds, the journey has just begun. You really want to go to Antarctica. We want to go see leopard seals and penguins. Elephant seals, mainly. Yeah? They're big and crazy looking. Antarctica has always been a dream of mine. We want to go see tiger sharks in the Bahamas. I know we have them here, but they're really hard to find. So we know of a place called Tiger Beach in the Bahamas. As their mother, I really am happy that they're chasing their dreams, but it really does make me nervous sometimes. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not going to have poop in my wetsuit if something comes after me. <laughs> the idea <laughs> is, is to get stuff that other people aren't seeing yeah. and aren't getting to do. Right. Right. You know, that's, that's the right. idea of, yeah. right. of photography. Right. We're not marine biologists. It's not like we've studied these things our whole life. To get close to these things, you have to more interact with them. It's not about studying them, but it's about their behavior and their personalities. Figuring out what reefs they like to hang out in, who eats who, who hangs out with who, who mates with who, what do they do on Saturday nights, all that kind of thing is very exciting. Two brothers, the ocean, and a world of dreams at their fingertips. They know the risks, they know the rewards, but more importantly, they know this is what they were born to do, dive. Dive. 